This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 1112 Problem Number 29. There are n different prime numbers in the bottom row of the table from left to right as p1 to pn. The product of two numbers next to each other in the same row will be placed in the box exactly above them. A number k, which is equal to p1 to alpha 1, p2 to alpha 2, and so on until pn to alpha n, is in the box in the top row. If alpha 2 is 8, how many numbers in the table are divisible by the number p4? a, 4, b, 16, c, 24, d, 28, or e, 36. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is, a is the page where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, as you can see, I've redrawn the uh, image given to us in the problem. And let's let's do a few rows in order to uh, you know figure out what's going on in our table. So again, we start with this bottom row as given to us in the problem: p1, p2, p3, p4, so on till pn. And we know that the product of two numbers next to each other in the same row is placed in the box exactly above them. So then we look at this row, and again, we multiply the two numbers beneath it. So for example, p1, p2, in order to get the number in the box above it, which is p1, p2. And again, this pattern continues. So let's see what we notice about p2 specifically, because we know that in the top row, which is in this format, the number k, we know that this alpha 2 is equal to 8. So if we try, if we can find a pattern between the number of the number row that we're looking at and the exponent of p2, then we can find how many rows our pyramid has. And that'll help us find what we're looking for, which is the number of numbers in the table that are divisible by P4. So again, we wanna find some sort of relationship between the row number and the exponent of P2. Let's ignore the, the bottom row for now. Those are the numbers that are given to us in the problem. Let's start with the second row. When we notice the highest power of P2, we have two P2s, they're each to the first power. So the highest power is one. Now let's look at the third row. We can see the highest power of P2 is P2 squared. So the highest one is 2. If we look at the fourth row, the highest power is p2 to the third power. And again, I've only included parts of the entire table because we don't need the entire table. We just want to see what's going on with p2 because, again, that's what the problem tells us about. So, so far, what pattern do you see? Well, the second row has power 1, the third power, sorry, the third row has power 2, the fourth row has power 3. So we take the row number, subtract 1, in order to find the highest power of P2. So if the power of P2 is 8, that means that it must be in the ninth row of the table. So what have we just figured out? Well, we know that n number of rows is equal to 9. Now let's move on to another diagram that I've drawn here in order to find what we're looking for which is the number of numbers in the table that are divisible by
by P4. So now we know that N is 9. So our bottom row given to us in the problem, we have P1, P2, P3, all the way to P9. So looking at this table, we can easily see what numbers are divisible by P4. Because again, each box above the first row is equal to the product of the two boxes beneath it. So, for example, this, those two boxes will be divisible by P4. And then going on from there, we see the same patterns emerging. We can continue up. This box will be divisible by four, P4, this one, this one, this one, and also this direction. And then we also see that divisible by four. We can just continue on in this pattern because again, each each box is equal to the product of the two beneath it. So that drawing um, shows the boxes that are divisible by P4. So how many do we have? Well, we can treat this like some sort of, uh, we have rows, right? Each row has one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. We have four rows. Six times four is 24, and this is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.